Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this video, we are going to talk about what's new in React 19. React 19 was released in April 2024 and introduced several new features. In new React, we have React Compiler. This is an experimental feature that allows compiling React code into optimized JavaScript code. This can potentially lead to a significant performance improvement, especially for complex applications. Currently, React doesn't automatically re-render on state changes. A way to optimize these re-renders is to manually use useMemo, useCallback, and Memo APIs. So what's new in React Compiler? A new experimental React Compiler that transforms React code into optimized JavaScript code. It aims to reduce the overhead associated with the virtual DOM manipulation, the core concept in React. As you know, React use a virtual DOM to check the current state of the UI and then change the UI according to the need. But now in React 19, the overhead of the virtual DOM is reduced. In new React compiler, we also have a performance boost. Compile code can be potentially executed faster than traditional React code, leading to a smoother user experience. We also have a smaller bundle size in new React compiler. The optimized code might result in a smaller bundle size, improving initial page load times. The second new feature in React 19 is server component. React 19 introduced server component, which can be directly integrated into React application. Server components are on the server offering benefits like improved SEO, faster page load, and efficient server-side execution. With server component, search engines can easily crawl and index server render content. The content is delivered to the browser faster, enhancing the initial user experience. The code can be executed on the server for the tasks like data fetching. All the components in the React by default are client-side. Previously in React, we do all the client-side rendering. All the React code responsible for building the UI would be bundled and sent to the browser. Then we do data fetching on the client-side. Components would often fetch data from the server using libraries like fetch or Exios after the initial render. This could be lead to a slight delay in displaying content. We also have a SEO limitation. Search engines might not be able to fully index the content on the application if it relies heavily on the client-side rendering, potentially impacting search ranking. But in new React 19 server components, server-side rendering is more easier. Server components allows you to write React code that execute on the server. This means, the initial HTML content, including the UI structure, is generated on the server and sent to the browser. This improves the performance. Server components can improve perceived performance by delivering a pre-rendered initial page to the browser, potentially reducing the time to display content. And this is also help to better SEO. Since the initial HTML is generated on the server, search engines can more easily crawl and index the content of the application. Server components can be reused on both the server and the client side, promoting code maintainability. Then we have action, which is the experimental feature in React 19. So let me first explain what is action. Action encapsulates the logic behind the data fetching and the UI update triggered by the user interactions. They provide a structured approach to managing these functionalities, making a code more reusable and maintainable. In previous React version, data fetching logic often reside within components using lifecycle methods like component did mount or use effect. UI updates were directly triggered by the state changes using use state or state management libraries like Redux. Or we have to add a separate data fetching libraries. You might have separate functions for fetching data, often using libraries like fetch or Axios. These functions would directly interact with the UI but would return a page data, which would then be used to update a component state. But there is a drawback of the previous approach. We have a scattered logic. Data fetching logic would be spread across different parts of your code, making it harder to maintain and test. We also have a complex state management. With React 19, we have encapsulated logic. Actions encapsulate the logic behind the data fetching and the UI updates triggered by the user interaction. This promotes the cleaner code separation and reusability. Actions provide a structured way to handle these functionalities, improving code readability and maintainability. And we also have improved maintainability. By separating the concern 
it's easier to understand, test, and modify individual actions without affecting unrelated part of your code. Previously, we have the manual DOM manipulation. You would directly manipulate the DOM using libraries like React Helmet or a custom solution for inject elements like title tags, meta description, or you use third party libraries. There are many drawbacks of using this approach. Manually manipulating the DOM could lead to errors and inconsistencies in the document head. Then we also have a code repetition. Managing document head content across multiple components could involve code duplication. And we also have an internal dependency. Relying on the third party libraries added complex and potential maintenance overhead. React 19 introduced a new way to manage the document head using the use head hook. So let's see what is the benefit of using use head hook in React 19. Use head hook provides declarative way to manage the document head content, improving the code readability. And we also have a centralized management. You can manage document head content from within your component, keeping things organized and reducing code duplication. With use head hook, eliminates the need for third party libraries and simplifying your project setup. React 19 is still under development. So if you want to know more about React 19, I will put a link in the description so you can find more about it. If you find anything useful, make sure to press the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe for more latest videos. I will see you in the next one.